Society induction ceremony. My name is Nicole Zubik. I am the National Honor Society advisor, though many of you probably know me as the crazy science teacher on the second floor. Uh, tonight, we're going to come together to celebrate the dedication, perseverance, and accomplishments of these very bright students at Cleveland Heights High School. In particular, the folks that are sitting with us tonight. They have overcome the barriers and obstacles of the past few turb turbulent years to achieve great academic success, to demonstrate excellence of character, and to become role models for their peers. These achievements have led to their induction tonight into the Cleveland Heights High chapter of the National Honor Society. Each scholar has maintained a cumulative 3.5 or higher GPA while also having demonstrated leadership, character, service, and scholarship, the four pillars of National Honor Society. This is an admirable and well-deserved accomplishment. Our scholars should be proud of their hard work and dedication, as this is no small feat. Our families, friends, and staff here tonight should also be commended for all of the support provided to our Heights scholars and students. This is such a wonderful community. I'm honored to be a part of it, living in the community, working in the community, and getting to work with these amazing students each and every day. Our ceremony tonight will be led by our current National Honor Society officers. We will honor each of our brand new scholars this evening on the screen. We will have a photo and their name. And we are encouraged to applaud and clap and shout as their name comes up on the screen. You do not need to wait until the end. I know how excited we are to celebrate. You don't need to worry about it. It's on time slides this year. Last year we had a glitch and who knows how fast each one went. This is such an amazing accomplishment to celebrate. And I think that after the past few years, we could all use a little bit of celebration and joy. Now I will introduce this year's honorary speaker. And we have the pleasure of having um, the Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Felicia Gould, for our keynote speaker this year. Good evening. I am very much aware of why you're here this evening, so I will not be before you long. So again, good evening to our Heights High students, families, and educators. I am very honored to be a part of this momentous celebration of student achievements. The National Honor Society is a prestigious organization that upholds the highest standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. So to tonight's 76 new inductees, again, 76 new inductees, I am very proud of you setting your goals high and staying committed to them, even when the things were challenging, through that thing that we call, we won't even say the name. And we've had very few, we had had our share of challenges in the past years. But membership into the National Honor Society is a testament of your unwavering dedication, tireless efforts, and countless hours of hard work. As we celebrate your achievements tonight, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the tremendous and guidance from your staff and families. Let's give them a round of applause. Your influence on these exceptional individuals has certainly contributed to their success. Thank you for instilling in them the values that have brought them to this moment. Many aspects of education and life have changed since the National Honor Society was created more than a century ago in 1921. But the purpose of NHS is the same, to recognize the students not only for their academic success, but also for their contribution of service, leadership, potential, and most importantly, good character. 
The four pillars of the National Honor Society come so naturally to this group because they are already a part of you. As Heights High students, your membership in NHS is much more than a nice bullet point on the college application or resume. NHS will serve you well for years to come in your relationship building, securing scholarships, future employment opportunities, and a source of pride in your accomplishments. Remember though, the success is not measured by the awards or the accolades, but by the positive impact that you make in the lives of others. The NHS Society has bestowed upon you great responsibility. You are now the torchbearers, the leaders, and the ambassadors of excellence within your school community and beyond. Again, congratulations to each of you, and I look forward to seeing what amazing things you continue to achieve at Heights High and in the future. Thank you. For the first of our four pillars this evening, we are going to uh, commemorate the leadership pillar with our NHS president, Taylor Evans. When she concludes her speech, she is going to go over and light the candle for leadership as uh, a signifying passing the torch on to this year's inductees. Good evening, everyone. First, I would like to say welcome and congratulations to all of our new inductees. It is an extreme pleasure to help recognize an amazing group of students. I understand the hard work, dedication, and sacrifices it takes to reach this plateau. I would like to congratulate you on your work thus far. However, I would also like to remind you this is only the beginning. As you continue through life, keeping your values in order and remaining consistent, I am positive that you will go very far. Now, as NHS members, you already have represented in your community, you have represented yourself very well, which is why you have been chosen. However, being inducted into the National Honor Society, you will now serve as leaders even more in Cleveland Heights High School and within the community. You all have served as role models and leaders in the building by way of having discipline, strength, and integrity, which are key pillars and ingredients, if you will, to being a member of the National Honor Society. As a leader, I believe you can and will fulfill the many roles that come with being an NHS member, and you will continue to do amazing things here at Cleveland Heights High School in the upcoming 2023 to 2024 school year. I am proud of you, your other peers are proud of you, your families, friends, staff, and the community as a whole are extremely proud of you. I am happy for you as I've already said, but please make sure that you are also proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself in this major accomplishment. It is easy to keep pushing and want more for yourself, which you always should, but please take the time to recognize how far you've come and the work you've dedicated. Once again, this is only the beginning. Please keep striving for the top.
automatically. This year it's the lighter. Every year it's got to be something. I got I got a back up in my back. So this evening it will be a theoretical torch. <laughs> Thank you. Apparently, keeping a lighter in your locked lab cabinet for an entire year is not a good decision. <laughs> All right, our second pillar this evening, with now a real torch, um, we will have our officer, Nadia Kull, with the pillar of service. Good evening. As I stand here today with great humility, honor, and excitement, I'm so happy to welcome new members to our chapter of NHS here at Cleveland Heights High School. As we celebrate this accomplishment with them, I want to speak to the pillar of service that we dedicate much of our time to as well as its importance. Service, in its purest form, is an act of selflessness, compassion, and commitment to making a positive difference in the lives of others. This play reminds us of our responsibility to be active participants in our community and society. It is about giving help to those in need and encouraging an environment filled with kindness, empathy, and unity. Service teaches us several lessons. It teaches us this humility as we face the challenges of ourselves and those around us and helps us to gain a deeper understanding. It teaches us gratitude and resilience that will contribute to the lifelong skills necessary to be a productive member of society. As we gather here today, let us make a commitment to service. Let us strive to make service not just an obligation, but, but, a, but a way of life and a part of our character and our legacy. Thank you. All right, not one of our pillars, but one of the most important parts of the torch to pass on. We have Deshanae Kennedy, who is one of our invaluable officers who did not want to speak, but she was so invaluable this year uh, as our treasurer and to do all the things to make sure I didn't make any typos and to double check all of my ADHD. So we wanted her to go ahead and light our torch as well and to be celebrated.
In addition, we have another amazing officer that is uh, our photographer this evening uh, who did not want to, uh, to speak. She does not want to have attention, but we wanted to draw attention to her for all of her hard work this year. Nagoy <laughs> Sese. Our third pillar this evening, uh, we are going to uh, represent scholarship with Officer Leah Blanchard. Good evening. Congratulations to all of you through, through your efforts and studies were recognized as NHS students. An honor such as this is a great opportunity for the school and the community to recognize and celebrate the choices and sacrifices all of you have made. But I believe what should make you and your families proud is not the honor itself, but what you had to do to get it. I believe the four pillars of NHS are ideal that will stay with you your entire life. Our third pillar, scholarship, is defined as commitment to learning. It is not inherent quality, but, on, but one that is developed as a result of responsibility, dedication, and, and drive. It is often thought that a number alone can define scholarship. However, the world beyond high school is about so much more than your GPA. It is being invested in the quest for knowledge and taking advantage of the wide range of lessons the world can teach you. Thank you. And last but not least, our fourth pillar, we have character, and this will be um, passed on tonight by Officer Ule Matsumai. Good evening. Character is what sets us apart from others, and it is the foundation on which we build our lives. It is a test of strength and determination. It is striving to make the right choices every day. To me, good character is more admirable than having natural talent. Having character is having a sense of moral purpose. It is knowing the right thing to do in any situation. Character is reflected in our thoughts, our choices, and the company we keep. By being inducted into the National Honor Society, you have proven to hold strong character. All of you are at the top of your respective classes academically but have also exemplified compassion, honesty, and self-discipline throughout your academic careers. You have proven to stand up for what is right, have a strong sense of responsibility, and care about your community, working to improve the lives of those around you. Each of you has built a character that is respected and admired by your peers, who will continue to look up to you as the role models within our school and community. However, there will be times in your life when your character is tested. The essence of who you are will be challenged by moments of conflict and adversity, blurring the lines between right and wrong. In these moments, I ask that you recall all of the values that have carried you so far in life. Remember to stay true to yourself and you not only overcome each challenge, but continue to explore and grow your character, preparing you to conquer any obstacle that comes your way next with class and moral strength. Thank you. Thank you to our officers this evening. And we are now going to turn our attention to our new inductees. We're going to welcome each and every of our 76 inductees this evening.
Congratulations to all of our 2023 inductees. We'll also have um, the slideshow posted outside on the NHS wall on the second floor. It'll be posted on the website as well, so you can view it again. And I promise we're almost done. We're just going to take another moment of your time. Uh, we're going to have all of our inductees recite the pledge with us, and we're going to thank everyone, and then we'll give you a chance to kind of mingle, celebrate, and then make it home early. All right, so we are going to have our president as her last act of duty go ahead and lead our new inductees in the pledge. So we're going to have all of our new inductees stand. That way we can see all of your um, fancy outfits for this evening as well. And Taylor's going to go ahead and um, read one line at a time. After she reads her line, you will repeat after her. Okay. Please raise your right hand. I pledge myself to uphold the high. Purposes of the National Honor Society. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. And I will remain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations. All right, this evening we just wanted to go ahead and thank everyone who contributed to this evening. Um, there's obviously not enough to put on a slide. There's so many folks to thank. But um, first we wanted to thank our um, inductees and their families for all of their support and joining us to celebrate this evening. Our current officers and their last act of duty and all their hard work they've put in this year. And of course, we've had so many uh, volunteers this evening from our current members as well. Our partnership with Gear Up College Now and AVID. Um, Keith Newman and Mark Brown and all of our IT staff for doing all the things I could never do and putting up with my inability to do any of them. Uh, Jesse Lang and our musical scholars for their wonderful performance earlier. All of our staff here, for everyone that helped to clean early to set up for tonight, um, to uh, set up refreshments and help us out, to administration and guidance and social workers and teachers, just everyone who works with our students every day. Our fabulous keynote speaker, Dr. Gould. Ms. Kirby and the Board of uh, Education members. And of course, Dr. McKinney. Thank you all so much for coming this evening. Please go ahead and celebrate. And I can't wait to see you all for our very first meeting next year.